What's up, guys? It's Jay, more than half a kill, and I'm back here on Grand Theft Auto 5. And we are here on top of Mount Chiliad, and we're taking a look at the Illuminati Easter egg riddle that is written on the wall inside of the cable car terminal. So, if you take a look at that, there is three Easter eggs that is listed on this riddle. One of them is a spaceship, another is an egg, and the other looks like a dude with a jetpack on his back. Now everybody is scrambling to find the jetpack because the UFOs have already been found. But I am actually more interested in that egg because I believe wholeheartedly that there is a dinosaur in this game that you can ride around and fuck shit up on. Trust me, I have a little bit of evidence that I've been putting together and I will make another video on that. But this video, I want to focus on showing you guys exactly where all three UFOs are located inside this game that you actually can visit. So, once you complete this game 100%, we're going to come on top of Mount Chiliad and it has to be thundering and lightning out for this to happen. So, if you come up here at 3 a.m. and you have 100% of the game completed, there will be a UFO that will spawn. Now, once this UFO spawns, you will actually be able to go visit the other two UFOs that don't need to be activated for any type of weather or any type of time. So, if you take a look at the cell phone right there, it is about to be 3 a.m. Now, a few seconds after 3 a.m., we're going to turn around and there's going to be a huge spaceship. Now, if you take a look at the spaceship, the spaceship is, you know, your typical spaceship. It's got bright lights, it's got colors, it's got the FIB logo on it, which, you know, in my opinion, does not surprise me too much, especially with how much, uh, you know, Grand Theft Auto has always had, uh, you know, CIA, Area 51, and all that type of shit. But there is the giant spaceship. Now, the thing is, is I've tried shooting it, I tried throwing rockets at it, I tried flying a helicopter in it. When you get near it, it starts to disappear, and when you kind of come back, it shows back up. So, this one right here is not anything that we can actually do anything about. However, when I did uh, fly through this area, about like maybe 10-15 minutes after the UFO disappeared, it still got kind of fuzzy, like I was caught in a tractor beam. So, I'm wondering if there is more to this UFO after the other two uh, Easter eggs have actually been discovered, which I think is going to be a dinosaur and a motherfucking jetpack. So, the second UFO location is located out in Sandy Shores. There is a hippie commune, and the hippie commune has a shrine to aliens. Now, if you fly directly over top this area, and you fly at max altitude, which is all the way to the top of the map, where there are no more clouds, you're above the clouds, you will see another UFO sitting on top of there. And it's just like the other one before that we saw, except this one, we can actually go near. You can actually land on top of it too, but I don't recommend doing that, because these UFOs, when you get too close to them, they do like to fling you far off. And I actually tried to parachute into the tractor beam to get this thing to suck me up, and it actually attacked me. I'm not even lying. It shot me with a red laser, and then I fell straight to the ground, and I wasn't able to do I couldn't even pull my parachute. I was incapacitated like I got hit by a stun gun. So that is something a little bit weird, you know? But this is actually pretty cool. I wasn't expecting to see this UFO. Now, the other UFO my friend actually told me about is going to be above Fort Zancudo. But this right here is actually where I jump out of the helicopter and I try to parachute into the tractor beam. And like I said, I, it actually fucking attacks me. I go in there, you can see things get a little bit fuzzy, it gets a little bit weird. Red laser, I'm falling, I'm stunned, I cannot do anything. And I'm going to fall straight down and you'll see that the hippie commune is right down there below. So, if you come to Fort Zancudo, this is where the third and final uh, UFO is going to be. When you pull your chute right here, I was going for a jet, and this is like around like 2, 3 o'clock in the morning. Boom, look at that! What is that? It is a hint. Because there is a hidden UFO, and this one is actually different than all the other UFOs. This one, you could tell, is actually probably a, uh, you know, military-built 
Ops UFO because it looks kind of like a stealth bomber and it's the hardest one to find because it is cloaked. So if you fly all the way above Fort Zancudo again, right above that spot, you will see this awesome looking spacecraft. Now this right here, I'm thinking that there is going to be flyable UFOs in this game. If not in there yet, it might be a DLC, but if you take a look at the other one, the other one kind of looked like just a regular UFO that you could fly around, and this one looks like an attack UFO, kind of like how there's an attack buzzard and there's actually the frogger that you can drive around with the helicopter. So I'm thinking that these might be, uh, you know, flyable one day, and uh, if so, is, is the jetpack the key to getting up inside? of these since these uh, UFOs disable all types of electronics when you come near it no matter what you fly it will fuck you up so I'm thinking that a jetpack is kind of mechanical it's got fuel there's nothing that this uh you know EMP can harm so are, are we able to use a jetpack to fly up into the middle of these and uh on the side of this UFO right here there actually is an area that kind of looks like it has a red arrow and it says right here and it looks like it has like a little bit of a hatch that you can open up and you can get inside so uh that's actually pretty cool but i will be you know taking a look at the uh dinosaur easter egg in my opinion i think there's gonna be a motherfucking dinosaur you don't think there's gonna be a motherfucking dinosaur come on man everybody wants a dinosaur easter egg <laughs> so my name's jay more than after kill make sure you guys rate comment subscribe I want to thank you guys for watching. If you could leave a thumbs up on this video, I would highly appreciate it because it gives you motivation to make more videos for you motherfuckers that watch my motherfucking videos. But if you haven't 100%ed the game and this isn't enough proof for you to go ahead and 100% the game but join in the hunt for this motherfucking jetpack, I don't know what to do. I, I can't I can't convince you any further. <laughs> so, like I said, my name's Jay Morning After Kill. Make sure you guys read, comment, and subscribe. I want to thank you guys for watching and I'm going to see you guys later.